Hello guys and welcome back to the Zane Investing. Rolling Stones recently published an article on AMC and Taylor Swift's new album was released on September 1. And let's examine this area, it says unexpected. Ant Theaters reported that the upcoming Taylor Swift concert surpassed the single-day advanced ticket sales record previously set by Spider-Man. No way home in, I believed, 2019. I'm surprised. Again, Taylor Swift is shattering records. The concert of the musical star's E. Ross tour contains no surprises. It broke the theater chain's record for advanced ticket sales in a single day. According to a statement released by AMC on August 31st, ticket sales for Taylor Swift's E. Ross tour ranked first and generated $26 million in revenue as of yesterday morning. Spider-Man had previously set the chain's previous record of $169 million. No means home. In less than three hours, the Ezra's tour documentary broke the previous revenue record. Wow! Now, the positive news for AMC is that its ticket-selling capabilities appear to be relatively stable. Beginning on October 13, the Ezra's tour documentary will only be shown at AMC theaters, with a minimum of four showings per day on Thursdays, Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. Naturally, AMC is now adding additional showtimes when necessary and available in order to meet demand. Then, Taylor Swift announced via social media that the Eros Tour has been the most significant electrifying experience of her life, and that it will soon be adapted for the big screen. Okay, so what do you think, gentlemen? Obviously, this is excellent news for AMC, but it has no effect on the current stock price. It has no effect on the 90% larceny campaign. It does not alter the fact that ANC plummeted 77% after they acquired 90% of our shares. What are your thoughts? What are your current thoughts? Also, some revisions are included. I will be interviewing Mr. Bag, one of their main investors from Hong Kong. He is taking steps to aid apes throughout the globe. He is an extremely influential person in Hong Kong, and he wishes to speak with you in the United States as well as primates worldwide. We will therefore conduct a live phone call on Wednesday at 5 o'clock p.m. now. It is Wednesday at 5 o'clock p.m. Central Time in the United States, so that's fine. Therefore, it is 6 p.m. Eastern Time and 5 p.m. Central Time in the United States. Okay, then. Mr. Bad from Hong Kong will join us on the line. He will provide you with important updates on the AMC chimpanzees in Hong Kong, including what their plans are, what they think of the situation, and what they intend to do. Therefore, it is more than a standard ticket fee. I mean, that will be beneficial in terms of revenue. Additionally, if they exhibit it in other theaters, they must pay AMC a fee. Consequently, this is also beneficial. Therefore, they will earn a substantial amount of money from this. And my thought is, why did Taylor Swift expressly sign a contract with AMC? Perhaps this is due to their status as the greatest theater chain. This immediately springs to mind because they are the largest theater chain. All right, gentlemen. Therefore, click like and notification. Send the video to a buddy. Be certain to support my petition. I'll pin it to the comments section. I am seeking election to the AMC Board of Directors. If you want representation on the board from a genuine retail shareholder, you should elect an AMC ape. Personally, I fought and attempted to prevent both the reverse division and the dilution of ape to AMC. You people are aware of what I've been up to. I performed this task for seven months. In addition, I sent court documents in an effort to halt it with Judge Zern. You are aware. Okay, then. Sign the petition and my nomination when I am nominated, which I will be, and I will appear on the ballot. I will triumph once I'm on the ballot. Once I am appointed to the board, I will serve as your representative, and you will have a voice. Okay, then. Communicate with you soon. Have a good day.